Monad was a term first publicly used by Leibniz in 1695, where he defined monad as a simple substance in a letter. What Leibniz meant when he used the word simple is that it has no parts. But it is also known that the term was used by Giorgiano Bruno and Anne Conaway, as well as Francis Mercury van Helmont prior to Leibniz. Leibniz had access to all these thinkers' writings well before 1695. For Leibniz, something that depends on nothing else for existence cannot have parts. If it had parts, its existence would depend on them. But whatever has spatial extensions has parts. It follows that what is ultimately real cannot have spatial extensions, and that atomism and materialism must be rejected. Monads are ultimately real. Each of them is an indivisible and immaterial substance. Their number is infinite, and they are all different from each other. None of them interact with any other, but the state of each and the development of each reflects more or less obscurely on the state and the development of any other. This has been Tuesday Talks with Irene. Please join me next week and never be afraid to pursue the why.